Katja here and welcome to a twist and pop-up card with the breeze of the forest for uh, AB Studio. Today I will show you the wonderful breeze of the forest uh, papers. Gorgeous wintry Christmas paper in lovely gorgeous uh, things on us, wintry scenes on it. So many papers and sheets uh, that you can you can, can do cutouts and use to many different projects. Yes, these papers are just gorgeous and uh, with many cutouts from nature pictures and reindeers and uh, flowers and uh, Christmas tree and leaves. Just gorgeous. And today I will do a twist and pop up card. Uh, I've noticed there are many tutorials uh, on the, out on the internet you can find if you are more interested if you don't understand mine because I'm really not the card making person but I will try to do one. Uh, my first paper is 11 by 30 centimeters and I will try to show you how I did my card and you see I'm gonna do it a little bit slowly here for you. This one I score 14 and a half centimeters from each side so I can fold it in the middle. Uh, I will have a card that is a little bit thick inside. So that's why I do this card a little bit my way. Next paper is 7 by 28 centimeters and I score uh, at 7 centimeters, then 14 and then 21. So I have uh, four uh, sides that are exactly the same, like you see there. The last one, mm, that's a little bit tricky one. Uh, I have a sheet of paper that is 22 by 28 centimeters. And I fold it in the middle by 14 centimeters. I have been making marks six centimeters uh, in from each side. Then I turn the paper and uh, doing some marks two and a half centimeters in and I do it a bit away uh, away up uh, to the previous where I have um, and I said to you I'm not the card maker and doing tutorials on this way I'm doing mostly mixed media but sometimes I'm trying and you see me I'm uh, cutting not all the way up and uh, you see me I'm going here and I have like um, my paper like here and I'm sorry but that I'm out of camera but you see me I'm cutting uh, it out not uh, straight a little bit um, lined but look uh, like a sweater. Okay and here I count the most difficult one to show you and I want to do a cross folded cross and tap it in the middle and you see I don't use a ruler. I measure by my eyes. Yeah and that's me uh, and you see me I fold by my hand and try to fold it uh, the first one because I want them to go to each other stick like that and I know you can uh, score like a cross um, 
but uh, I have measured this uh, without no tutorial. I just made it. Uh, and I try to show you this slowly. So you see me here now that I did the first one and then I do the cross all over it. So you see I have like a cross and it needs to fold down and the corner in the middle there are the most trickiest one. And now uh, Uh, you, I pressure it with my bone folder. So, and now I have the function that will be inside the card. Uh, I think it will work. And it's not perfect made, but I'm sure because I will cover it with some gorgeous, lovely pattern that it will work. And this... Uh, paper that I score, it will pop out when I will glue it later on. So I'm sure you can uh, check out to find more tutorials how to do this because it's a little bit tricky when you would glue it. But now it's time to use the papers. I have been made some cutouts from gorgeous uh, forest of the breeze papers and you see me I have made some cutouts from these gorgeous papers I have made cutouts from almost every sheet number one two three four five and six sheets yes I have made cutouts from the sheets that I really like. Now I'm speeding up the video a little bit for you and you see I use a prick stick, a glue stick when I glue. I think it uh, works fine, it's easy uh, and it goes really fast. I'm using a little bit red uh, on the background to frame it and you see me having paper from the sheet two and five and it's perfect matching uh, paper with words but uh, this time I will cover it so you see it, it will be the back and the front of my card yeah I have some shipboards and I want to frame uh, some lovely pattern and it's cutouts from the sheet number four. Uh, and I'm trying out my other cutouts. They are two gorgeous uh, sheets, number six and number three, that uh, you can make so many gorgeous cutouts. First, I want to add a little bit texture on my back uh, and uh, front side and I use uh, stencil and use some um, snowflake paste. Uh, I want it to be a little bit shimmery and a little bit uh, texture, not too much, uh, only a little bit. And um, I also will paint some of my shipboards it's gorgeous shipboards uh, uh, and I will paint it with white gesso. My shipboards comes from Snipart. And uh, by um, having uh, dot, uh, some white gesso it go easy and it's so uh, fine, it works fine. I will add a little bit, little bit glitter on my gesso and on my uh, snowflake paste to add some glitter uh, shine effect to my snow. Yeah, it's now time for my shaker card. I had some uh, glitter, uh, more 
bigger flakes and I'm adding it to this uh, plastic and uh, it matches the chipboard perfect. And this uh, reindeer, it's a cutout from sheet number six, I think. Number known, sheet number four, it's made the cutout. Uh, when you're doing uh, shaker cards uh, and or adding glitter inside like this, uh, you can use like foam tape or something like that. Here I'm using um, some glue and I'm adding my uh, paper and hold it so the glitter will not uh, stick out. And I think it will be gorgeous, so fun that the reindeer stays there inside. And uh, yeah, you see me now. I'm uh, speeding up for you a little bit. Uh, I'm inking the edges uh, to give some depth and adding. Uh, my shipper details, the snowflakes, and uh, so it will be a really good, nice frame to my card. Now I have these gorgeous, gorgeous cutouts uh, with flowers and uh, leaves and uh, reindeer heads and everything. And uh, I use foam tape because I want them to be a little bit 3D uh, so I can easy place uh, glue them in layers. That's to not make the card card too flat. It gives a little bit more, more depth to the card. And uh, here you find my cutouts and I try to pick uh, mix them and uh, have them and then have randomly made some um, cutouts that I think match and some of them I use uh, foam tape because I want them to be on top and some of them I glue and stick under. It's so really fun and easy to make this kind of cards. Um, yeah, and you see me here laying and adding these pieces to the front page and it's so, so, so fun. And foam tape on some and gluing on some. Uh, this is really one of my favorite winter collection. So, so gorgeous and uh, this wine uh, uh, pinkish color is uh, just gorgeous on the winter flowers. So I think the front page uh, was much more fun to do and, and uh, like that more than to do the card making the sites. But I really felt uh, when I saw this paper collection that I wanted to do so many cutouts and put it in the same card uh, because I really fell in love in this in this collection. So now I'm inside in the pop-up uh, papers and gluing them and I will add some um, uh, cutouts on them also. And some of them I will glue directly on the sheets and some of them I will have a little bit foam tape. So you see me trying out how I want them to stay and uh, gluing and adding them. Uh, really fun to decorate small scenes on these squares that will be inside my card. 
And uh, here I'm trying out uh, using flowers and birds and uh, Christmas gifts uh, package and like that. Uh, and you know, I notice when I'm trying out that I have a little bit busy background on some paper sheets. So uh, uh, some decoration doesn't work because it will be a conflict uh, in the background and uh, on what should be on it. So here I'm taking a little bit uh, white gesso to tone it down the pattern paper to make my decoration not to be in the busy background so I can add more of these gorgeous cutouts. I will also add some uh, snowflake paste here in the inside. Uh, I have anyway already added white, so why not the snowflake paste? And I also add some snowflake paste around my cutouts. Not too much, uh, but a little bit in the background, but also on the leaves and the flowers. I do that, uh, the same thing on my card, a little bit here and there. And when these are ready, I will add them inside my card and my card will be ready uh, with these gorgeous elements and I'm so sorry that I don't have the end of this movie where you can see well, I will add my string and my inside but my battery was uh, dead after a while so hope you anyway enjoy my card um, and it's a shaker card and uh, twist and a pop out card. And uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, enjoy. Bye bye.